New at 11, nearly seven years. That's how long a Brooklyn man spent in a coma. The result of injuries caused by a sucker punch from a stranger. This morning, he died. And his family tells News Force Jackie Beckford they want his attacker to be charged with his murder. These memories by their father's bedside are all these two young boys have left. We woke up and then my mom, our mom says that our dad didn't make it. I was sad about it. 13 year old Pedro Tapia and his 11 year old brother Jose learning today their comatose father had died. Domingo Tapia had been in a coma for nearly seven years after he was randomly sucker punched while riding his bike on a Brooklyn street. Their mother, Esther Diaz, speaking through a translator. He was suffering a lot and she, she knows that she's well with his. And she, she feels right now. Diaz, a housekeeper, says her husband's absence from their lives has been difficult. It's been a struggle and um, dealing with the kids. She got to work overtime and she's having a lot of problems though. Ever since. More than anything, she and her sons want Gary Anderson, the man who put Diego in the hospital, to now be charged with his murder. She wants justice, that just justice. He wants him to go to jail because he got, I think, three, three years and he didn't do that much. In fact, friend Jaime Gonzalez says Anderson, now free, barely served his sentence. He walked away within six months. I mean, justice in New York. We reached out to the Brooklyn DA to inquire if they would file new charges against Anderson, but have not heard back. Anderson was only charged with misdemeanor assault. That's because under New York law, it's nearly impossible for prosecutors to give a defendant who throws a punch that causes death or serious injury more serious charges. Lawmakers so far have been unsuccessful in trying to close the loophole that allows for this. It's not fair to me, but... The family now left to plan Domingo's funeral while the man convicted of punching him walks freely. I don't think of him going, hey, being caught, got to jail, and got justice for him, for hurting our father. And the family says they're applying through the Mexican consulate for financial aid to pay for Domingo's funeral. Checky Beckford reporting, News 4, New York.